Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. The theme of so many of the readings in our church on the Sundays between Pascha and Pentecost involve stories of Jesus seeing people who were not seen by society. As I mentioned in my sermon last Sunday, the theme of the story of the paralytic, someone who was for 38 years paralyzed and no one would help him to the water to be healed, but Jesus saw him and healed him. The story of the myrrh-bearing women. Women's testimony in the ancient world was not permissible in court, and yet Jesus chose them, the women, to be the first to proclaim the resurrection to all the world. In other words, whose testimony was valid in the Lord's eyes. The Sunday of the Samaritan women, which we have this coming Sunday. Someone who was despised by Jews because she was a Samaritan, because she was a woman, she had lived in sin. Um, Jesus saw her among her many, many um, sins and shortcomings in her life. And yet she also went out and did great things as a saint of the church and great missionary later on. And then, of course, the blind man. A story in which Jesus heals someone who is blind, but the Pharisees question why he was healed. And the theme of the story, of course, is who truly is blind? Who could not see? The one who had been blind or the ones who were the priests of the temple? And so all of these stories are meant to remind us as Christians that God sees us, even those who seemingly are not seen by God. Even us, if we ever feel that we are not seen, God truly sees us. Let us always remember this and remember that God became incarnate, died for us, and rose from the dead out of his great love for us. And because he always sees us. God bless you. Amen.